These are the 30 craziest moments in the NBA. And coming in at number 30, Nikolai Jokic can't stop shaking his badonkadonk. Hold up. Jokic didn't tell me he had an OnlyFans. That's mad disrespectful. But while Jokic is using his booty for clout, Tim Hardaway once did something even more disrespectful. As the Raptors cut it to a six-point game. With those skills, it's only a matter of time till the MLB starts sliding in Hardaway's DMs. However, do you know who I want sliding in my DMs? Brandon Knight. Because rumor has it, he's pretty good at blowing. What? Johnson throws it. Intercepted. Knight, two seconds, one second. Oh! He missed it at the horn! Never seen anything like that. My goodness. We are going to double overtime on a missed layup by Brandon Knight. It's all right, bro. You can tell me. How much did the Nets pay you? On the other hand, I don't want Carlos Boozer anywhere near me, or else I may never have kids again. Bomb in the pass. Boozer, strong move in the lane and had enough to get it to go. Fist pumps and almost punched Dan Crawford, <laughs> who was making the foul call. Wait a second, why is the referee smiling? Are his balls secretly made out of titanium? Speaking of which, if you want your balls to turn into titanium, keep watching. Because still to come, we've got a mid-game trade, a weather delay, and the greatest play of one NBA legend's career. But first up, we got to address the elephant in the room. Because let's face it, referees are placed on a pedestal. As the second one player complains about a call, then boom, the NBA smacks him with a fine. However, what if I told you one player eventually decided enough is enough? And instead of holding in frustration, he spoke his truth. I mean, I don't mind. I'll take a fine. I don't really care. I thought, you know, um, Ben Taylor was fucking terrible tonight. Um, I thought that on most nights, you know, a couple of the, you know, out of the three, there's one or two that just f the game up. Yo, I just got a genius idea for the next Netflix special, The Roast of Ben Taylor. That said, Dylan Brooks is getting roasted as we speak. From his beef with Draymond Green, to Kyrie Irving not winning his game jersey, and technical fouls almost every other game, there's no denying it. He's easy to roast. Although, if you ask me, he does it to himself. Dylan Brooks knew it was Tuesday night. Stone Cold Dylan Brooks. Oh, you didn't know? Wow. Look at that. Homie thought he was Stone Cold Steve Austin, shaking my head. That said, this moment got me shaking my entire body. Six measured earthquake in and California stop the game here, Mark, right just so. yesterday. And we can feel tremors here well, they, in the, the building. The score clock, the score clock is, is shifting ever so slightly. So people are heading to the exits as we speak. I think they're going to clear the players appropriately so yep. as that... Uh, Scoreboard above midcourt is yep. was moving quite significantly a couple of minutes ago. Now, an earthquake during an NBA game is already bad enough, although Mother Nature still hasn't finished messing with the Pelicans, because on May 4th, 2021, the force was not with them, let alone the electricity. Come step. These scattered situations. He shot the lights out. That's a different way to defend Curry right there, <laughs> is turn the power off. Not going to lie, that's the closest something has ever come to slowing down Steph Curry. Actually, I lied. Turns out Mother Nature had one final act up their sleeve. It was the 2022 Western Conference Finals, game four between the Warriors and Mavericks. Warriors leading 3-0 with a chance to pull off the sweep in the Mavericks' very own American Airlines Arena. But just as the Warriors were ready to send the knockout blow, this happened. We have a leak on the floor from the roof. There's been some rain here in the Metroplex, Dallas Fort Worth area, and you can see how they are trying to absorb it. There we go. There's no way I would be up there. Could you be up there, no, coach, walking no, around no, like that? No. Fast forward a few hours, and it was Mavericks with all smiles, defeating the Warriors 119 to 109. But the Mavericks aren't the only ones smiling. Suns fans got their hands on precious cargo. Tough shot won't go. O'Neal gonna save it. Watch out! Oh! He goes flying into the stands along the sidelines. Man, these fans really got to see Hulk up close. I'm jealous. On the other hand, I'm not jealous of Harrison Barnes, because in a blink of an eye, his life got turned upside down. Now, this is being reported, folks, from Bleacher Report. Reportedly, Harrison Barnes mid-game 
is being traded to Sacramento for Justin Jackson and Zach Randolph. Come on, Mark Cuban, that's cruel. I wouldn't even wish that on my worst enemy. That said, hold your beer, because what LeBron James did to Wendell Carter wasn't just cruel, it was toxic. Uh, next to the logo, Dwight doing work, and he kept it alive, and out of bounds it goes, and losing goggles that time, I think, was Carter Jr. Uh, as Dwight, was, as Dwight was saving it, he threw it in and he hits it. Nah, bruh. I expected more from the King. Although I can't say the same for Draymond Green. Cool bounces off of Isaiah Joe. Play on. Oh, and that careless pass. I don't know if it was intended for Green. Out of the way, it's a turnover. Wiggins, no. But seriously, what did he expect? If Draymond Green punched me in the face, I can't say I'd do anything differently. Speaking of which, Stephen Curry also owes someone an apology. Because even though he didn't punch his teammate, someone still got hurt. No wonder being Curry's ball boy seemed too good to be true. Be careful what you wish for, which is why I wish to be LeBron James, even if it's just for one day. After all, he once made Victor Oladipo his son. Look at the clock. LeBron digs in defensively. Here comes Victor Oladipo. Got the angle, gets inside. Spray by LeBron James. He decompressed it with three seconds left. Jeff Green to trigger it. Screen set for LeBron James. Going to work, fires leaning. The water! A wide goal! Walk up! Play up! Winner! LeBron James, the miracle worker. First the block, then the game winner. Safe to say, he put the choking rumors to bed. And to further prove it, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. Back to 2018, specifically February 7th, during which the Cavs and the Timberwolves were going down to the wire. So with the game resting in the balance, both teams put all their marbles on their best player. Meaning it was one versus one between Jimmy Butler and LeBron James. That's when a king was born. Now do you let him get comfortable or you attack him? Switch Jenny Austin against Jimmy Butler. Attacking. Blocked by LeBron James! That ball will never be the same! One second left in overtime! LeBron gets away, sends it for the win! Got it! Away it goes! Walk off winner! Shades of 2009 against the Orlando Magic! Lesson learned. When you beat Kevin Hart with your left hand, LeBron's gonna make you pay. Similarly, Giannis also has bad karma in his future, because he'll go through hell and high water to get a triple double. Wizards running out of time. Kisberg off the mark. Another rebound there to Giannis. He's gonna finish one rebound shy of a triple double. And that'll do it. Oh, he got it. Does that count? <laughs> it's got it, right? Oh, Ricky Shot Davis attempt. style. Ricky they Davis told style. Him. The bench told him. Giannis has his triple double. Now that's what you call a sore winner. Meanwhile, Obi Toppin and Miles Bridges are full of energy and putting on a show that the fans will never forget. And Burks comes up with the basketball. Toppin ahead of the field. Slides it down. And again, the physicality. A lot of guys. Miles Bridges! Take that! Oh. He got Yo, Shaq better get his camera ready next time. Just like you should get your camera out. Because this next duck, you won't be able to unsee. Hey, Joe goes for Kunchar. High archer. Oh, no! Jared Jackson Jr. on a major rack attack. Hey, that dunk was so vicious, Anthony Davis wishes he was still injured. However, it's one thing to get dunked on by JJ. It's another to get tackled by your idol. One of the great moments in the Heat's house tonight in the yellow sweatshirt. He just won $75,000 with a half-court hooker. Look at this shot. Oh, my. He probably enjoyed the hug by LeBron more than the money. The longest <laughs> sky hook in American Airlines <laughs> Arena history.
country. Now that's how you spend your 15 minutes of fame. But sadly, I'm gonna have to cut these 15 minutes short because now we're entering an extremely dangerous territory. The 10 craziest moments in NBA history. And to kick things off, it's all about MJ. But believe it or not, it has nothing to do with Air Jordan. Instead, it's a battle between his two favorite teams, the Bulls and the Hornets. As back in 2019, the Hornets found themselves leading by eight with only a minute remaining. That's when Zach Levine turned into the second coming of Michael Jordan. Levine lost it on the way up, regathered, and still hit it. Long three. Oh my goodness. Always in the rearview mirror. Trouble. Loose. Chicago's got it. Oh no. You're kidding. Hornets try and get it in. It's ripped away. And Zach Levine, as he's done all night long, a three. 49 points, 13 three-pointers, and a game-winning three-pointer? This dude ain't just clutching the dunk contest, he's clutching crunch time too. However, if we're talking about the second coming of MJ, it's only right we talk about the OG. Cause against the Knicks, dude threw down one of the most tantalizing posters I've ever seen. Sight, that dude is Scottie Pippen. between the dunk on Patrick Ewan and then taunting Spike Lee? My G nearly got himself banned from Madison Square Garden for life. Meanwhile, John Moran is one mistake from getting banned from the NBA. Cause this year, Ja has been making more headlines than ever before, but for all the wrong reasons. See, deep down inside, bro thinks he's a gangster. This past summer, he was accused of punching a teenage boy in the head and even threatening him with a gun. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. But what else is even less pretty is what he did on Instagram live. Um, dude took the second amendment way out of proportion, but he's not the first person in his family to take things too far. In fact, Ja's father, T. Moran, also got himself in trouble this year. In a game between Ja's Grizzlies and LeBron's Lakers, there was one fan who simply wouldn't shut up, Shannon Sharp. So much so that during the final possession of the first half, Sharp told Moran to subscribe to the channel. Well, that and he was too small to guard LeBron James. Yet, rather than dropping the situation, Ja told Sharp to go F himself. From there, all chaos broke loose. At this point, we should just give Ja's family their own TV show. Let's call it Keeping Up With The Morans. Speaking of which, Charles Barkley also deserves his own TV show, since there's not a person on this planet who knows what he's going to say next. The guy's banging you, you don't, you spin off of him. Those are the worst defenders to play against, actually, because if you can feel their body, uh, come on. Come on, Chuck. What happens between us needs to stay that way. But jokes aside, Andre Jordan is about to make Brandon Knight his poster child. Good golly, Miss Molly. Someone called the ambulance. Jordan just put Brandon Knight on life support, which reminds me of my own near-death experience. It was October 30th, 2015, Magic vs. OKC. Only little did I know what would take place next, because it was so exciting, it nearly gave me a heart attack. To the end, they have to make sure they get the last shot. You want to win it or go to overtime? Oladipo, long shot. He drilled it! Pure Magic! Westbrook! Oh my goodness, what a sequence of events this is. Victor Oladipo, can't celebrate too long because you know they're coming right back at you. Safe to say, I got my money's worth that day. Although now we're entering the final three moments. These moments are priceless. After all, I'll never forget what happened in game one of the 2018 finals. But first, let's backtrack. As with 4.7 seconds remaining, George Hill was at the free throw line with a chance to ice the game for the Cavaliers. In other words, there were two ways the Cavs could win the game. Either the second free throw goes in or the Cavs get the rebound and make the game winner. The NBA script writers chose the latter, but there was just one problem. They forgot to tell J.R. Smith that. Hill misses. Rebound goes to the Cavs. J.R. Smith brings it back out. Throws it to Hill. Hill shot blocked. And will go to overtime. Great job from Smith to get the rebound. 
but dribble it away. Dog, that brain fart was so bad. I think LeBron just messed his pants. However, now it's time to transition from one of the worst plays in NBA history to one of the greatest single game performances in NBA history. See, there are certain moments that define a player's career. For Michael Jordan, it was his famous flu game. For Kawhi Leonard, it was the shot against the Sixers. And for Kobe Bryant, it was his performance against the Toronto Raptors. Because on January 2nd, 2006, there wasn't a person on the planet who could stop the Black Mamba. As when the first half ended, Kobe already scored 26 points. That said, his encore was in a totally different stratosphere. Well, they're giving him the ball to see if he can add to it. Yes, he does. Still six and a half to play in the third. He pulls up for a three. Yes! Lakers lead 105-96. Another three. Four away from Elgin Baylor's Laker record. For three again. Yes! <laughs> well, there's 70. Pump fake for two. Kobe stopped the Laker record. <laughs> For the night, at least. Bryant for 80. This would be 18 for 20 from the line and an 81 point game. 55 in the second half. Hold up. This dude literally scored 55 points in the second half alone? In other words, my bro just scored 81 points. To put it simply, Kobe knows how to stroke that thing. However, what if I told you LeBron's career defining moment has him beat? See, ever since LeBron was a child, he had one goal in mind to win an NBA championship. But this wasn't just any championship we're talking about. He wanted to do it for his home state of Ohio. Yet, by 2016, LeBron was in his second tenure and ninth season with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And get this, the dream still wasn't realized. To make matters worse, the Warriors were leading LeBron's Cavs three games to one in the NBA Finals, and LeBron's lifelong dream was starting to seem more like a fantasy. That's when destiny started to take its toll, because slowly but surely, the Cavs started to march back. Two games later, the series was tied three games apiece. One game to determine the world champions, one game between LeBron James and his lifelong dream. And that's when something remarkable happened. Irving drives, hop step inside, floats it up, misses, rebound taken by Iguodala. Iguodala to Curry, back to Iguodala, up for the layup, oh, blocked by James! LeBron James with the rejection! An impossible chase down block to set up Kyrie's game-winning shot moments later, it doesn't get any better than that. But while NBA players are doing the impossible, some NFL players are doing the unthinkable. Because one NFL player leaked a video hitting a gas mask bomb. Another NFL player tried crossing the border with over 150 pounds of weed. And don't get me started on Sam Hurd. These are NFL players who smoke in real life. And trust me, you're going to want to watch the video. Because I just got off the phone with Kevin Durant, and if you don't watch the video, he's going to steal your secret stash of the good stuff.